in this section we are going to see some important stuff uh, on logarithm okay let's look at the stuff we have on the board if you switch a logarithm from numerator to denominator or denominator to numerator we have to interchange the argument and base okay let us see how this one works uh, let me consider uh, a logarithm that is log a to the base b okay in this logarithm i consider there is one in front of this logarithm so here 1 and log a to the base b both of them are multiplied uh, now what i am going to do is i am going to move this log a to the base b to denominator that is i am going to switch this logarithm to denominator then i will have 1 in numerator when i switch this log a to the base b to denominator i need to interchange the argument a and the base b then i get log b to the base a here I have switched the logarithm given logarithm to denominator in case i switch the logarithm from denominator to numerator the same thing i have to do like 1 divided by log x to the base y ok now i am going to switch this logarithm to numerator if it comes to the numerator it will be multiplied by 1 and now i have to interchange the argument x and base y so i will be getting 1 times log y to the base x and 1 times log y to the base x will become log y to the base x so the logarithmic expression that is uh, 1 divided by log x to the base y is equal to log y to the base x so this is how we have to switch a logarithm from numerator to denominator or denominator to numerator let us look at the next stuff on logarithm that is logarithm of 1 to any base is equal to 0 when we do problems on logarithm if I get 1 in the argument of the logarithm its value equal to 0 we may have any base but once we get 1 in the argument so the value of such logarithm is equal to 0 let us look at some examples log 1 to the base 2 is equal to 0 log 1 to the base 3 is equal to 0 log 1 to the base 5 is equal to 0 so the value of log 1 is equal to 0 for any base so we don't have to worry about the base when the argument of a logarithm is 1 and the value of such logarithm is equal to 0 let us consider the logarithm uh, with argument 1 and the base is not given already we know the stuff uh, in a logarithm if the base is not given uh, we have to understand that the logarithm as common logarithmic base 10 so the value of log 1 to the base 10 is equal to 0 because here the argument is 1 we do not have to worry about the base once we get 1 in the argument of a logarithm its value is equal to 0 so simply we can say this one as log 1 is equal to 0 and also when we get 1 in both argument and base of a logarithm that is also equal to 0 because some students may think uh, uh, when we get both base and argument uh, are equal the value of such logarithm is equal to 1 that will happen only for the other values not for 1 so once we get uh, the value 1 in the argument the value of such logarithm is equal to 0 even if the base is also 1 that is that is equal to 0 so the value of log 1 to any base is equal to 0 so the value of log 1 to the base 1 is also equal to 0 let us look at the next stuff on logarithm that is logarithm of any number to the same base is equal to 1 ok let me consider a logarithm where the argument is a in this logarithm if the base is also a then the value of this logarithm is equal to 1 because in any logarithm if both the argument and base are same then the value of such logarithm is equal to 1 ok let us look at some examples log 2 to the base 2 is equal to 1 so based on this stuff if both the argument and base are same then the value of uh, such logarithm is equal to 1 log 3 to the base 3 is equal to 1 log 5 to the base 5 is equal to 1 and I am saying log 10 is equal to 1 how 
the base is not given how can I decide that the value of log 10 is equal to 1 because uh, in any logarithm if the base is not given we have to understand there is common logarithmic base 10. So, when I take common logarithmic base 10 here both the base and the argument are same. So, the value of this logarithm is, uh, is also equal to 1. So, that is why I am saying the value of log 10 is equal to 1. When we do problems on logarithm uh, if we get log 10 uh, we can take the value 1 for it because the base is not given we can understand uh, there is a common logarithmic base 10. So, when we take common logarithmic base 10 both the base and the argument are same. So, the value of such logarithm is equal to 1. So, this concept will work for all the values uh, except the case 1 because log 1 to base 1 is equal to 0. This is due to the stuff already we have seen that is log 1 to any base is equal to 0. So, log 1 to the base 1 is also equal to 0. According to this particular stuff uh, in a logarithm if the argument and base are same that is equal to 1 except the case log 1 to the base 1 here this is not equal to 1 this is equal to 0. So, students always must remember this one log 1 to the base 1 is not equal to 1 log 1 to the base 1 is equal to 0 because log 1 to any base is equal to 0. For all the remaining values except 1 uh, if the base and the argument are same then the value of such logarithm is equal to 1. Let us look at the next stuff on logarithm. Here we are going to find the value of the expression in which we have logarithm as exponent so that the base here and the base of the logarithm are same. Whenever we have such expression that is equal to the value of the expression is equal to x that we have in the argument of the logarithm. How? How the value of this expression is equal to x which is the argument of the logarithm. So, let us see how to find the value of this expression. Let me assume the value of the given expression is a that is a is equal to b to the power of log x to the base b. Okay, so, to get the value of a what I am going to do is I am going to take logarithm on both sides that is log a is equal to log b to the power of log x to the base b. Here I am going to use uh, the third fundamental law on the right side. So, I can take this exponent in front of this logarithm. So, we get log x to the base b times log b. Okay, now, uh, for these two logarithms we do not have base. Uh, for any logarithm if there is no base we have to understand there is common logarithmic base 10 and also we have to multiply these two logarithms. If I want to multiply two logarithms I have to check one of the two conditions uh, which we have already seen. Okay, the first condition is the argument of the first logarithm and base of the second logarithm must be same. Here they are not same because x and 10. Okay, now, let us check the second condition the base of the first logarithm and the argument of the second logarithm must be same they are equal. So, we can multiply these two logarithms. So, now I have to mark the area which covers the base of the first logarithm and uh, the second logarithm along with its argument. Now, we have to remove the part which is marked then we get log a to the base 10 is equal to on the right side we have to write logarithm with argument x and base 10 we get log x to the base 10. Here two logarithms are equal with the same base 10. If two logarithms are equal with the same base what we can do is we can equate the arguments. So, we get a is equal to x. So, the value of a is x. A is nothing but the value of the given expression. So, the given expression b to the power b to the power of log x to the base b is equal to x. So, whenever we have an expression like this and the important condition we have here is the base uh, here we have and the base of the logarithm must be same. Whenever we have an expression like this and the value of this expression is equal to the argument of the logarithm we have here. So, the value of the expression b to the power of log x to the base b 
is equal to x.